Hi guys, this is Korak from Ejureka. Welcome to today's session on coding versus programming. So what is the big confusion between coding and programming? So basically, even if coding and programming seem like the same concept, if you go check Google, you will see that the definitions for coding and programming are synonymous. So basically they are the same. But does this mean that both coding and programming is similar? So the answer to this is no. So there is a difference. So the difference between coding and programming is that coding is the process of implementing the application development plan in various machine understandable languages. So the computer understands a certain language. So you will have to give the computer commands in the language that it understands. So for a certain output that you want, you will have to give in instructions to the computer in its understandable language so that you get the desired output. Whereas programming is the process of creating and developing an executable machine program which performs a certain set of actions so you basically the entire process of making an application from scratch the entire process of planning and gathering resources and then basically structurizing the entire app is called programming and coding is just a part of it so the primary aim of coding is to facilitate communication between the user and the machine so Basically, what this means that like we talked about right now that if you give the computer a certain input You expect a certain output from it, right? Whereas programming is the process of writing code so formally that for any human input that you give the machine output has to always be in sync So programming is not just about coding. It is about keeping all the cycles of programming and application development in tandem so that whenever you basically give the computer or your program application a certain input you will have to have a certain output that makes sense to you right so this is basically the difference and apart from that coding deals only with the syntax and the programming languages such as c c plus plus java etc so these are just different types of programming languages which is basically syntax that the computer understands right but programming is much more application based where the person has to have an expertise in the algorithms as well. So it is more about problem modeling and problem solving. Whereas coding, if you want to start coding, you don't need prerequisites. Whereas in programming, you will have to have uh, a lot of time invested in other planning and time management and other such activities during the entire process of application development right coding results only to a small piece of code and that is basically that piece of code gives you a certain solution but the end product of programming will result in the fully developed application that you will have so programming is a very large process compared to coding which is just a part of the entire process of programming so then we talk about a coder and a programmer how are these two different right so a coder will not have an experience in the SDLC processes. Now the SDLC is software development life cycle. Now this is basically the different processes that are followed during development of an application. While a programmer will have more experience in the SDLC processes than a coder because programmers have to deal with a lot of things such as planning and implementing and apart from that they have to take the code that they get from the coders and basically amalgamate that into the app that they want and that is a very big process so they need more experience in the entire software lifecycle process next up we have the algorithmic knowledge of coders are generally low and even if they aren't low the coder does not need that much of algorithmic knowledge but to be a programmer you have to have an expertise in problem solving right so that is essential to you and a coder is tasked with writing code which is delegated by developers so basically a coder has to do a part of the application development where they're basically writing a piece of code for a certain solution that has to come so basically coder will deal with one part of the application that is being developed whereas a programmer can overlook the entire application building process as well right so how does a coder and a programmer work together in the industry? So a programmer plans the structure of the app 
and then what he does is he writes down the features of the app that he needs for the client right then the programmer basically designs the app and looks to continuously improve the app when they when it's in development so what a coder does is that he takes all these plans from the programmer and transforms them into code which basically give a certain solution for a certain given input right so once that is done they give it back to the developer and then they basically work on it so that they improve it and then they have the final product which is the application right so in conclusion we see that if you're interested in being a programmer and want to be part of the entire sdlc process then having an in-depth knowledge of data structures and algorithms is absolutely essential right on the other hand, if you want to be a coder and don't really want to overlook the entire process of the SDLC, which is a sub software development life cycle, what you can do is you can just learn various programming languages such as C, C++, Python, and that is how you could basically become a coder. So the future is very bright for those pursuing computers and those looking to get into coding and programming. If you have your skills and you hone your skills well, then you too can master them very well. With that, I end today's session. Thank you and have a nice day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!